What up, guys? So welcome to this episode of Mina Training Tech. Right, so on this episode, we're going to take a look back at dryer. Um, from what I see, customer said the dryer is not cutting off, meaning like the time, you know, there is not rotating at all, nor can we get any heat at all, at all, at all, whatever. So we're going to take a look at it, pull it down, see what's going on with it. Um, I know for a fact that this person is a, a, a plug, the dryer while it was running, and also they said adjust the time up to the off position for the cut off, right? So, we don't know what it is causing it, so it can be almost anything. Alright, from the timer sticking to the um, heated element in it, um, one of the safety devices they change it, whatever it is. So, we take a good look at it and see exactly what is going on, advise the customer how much it might cost, you know, that kind of thing, normal tra -la -la, and let's see how it turns out. Alright, guys, so this is the item we're looking at here. It's a dryer. Um, so, basically, it's not heated, so we had to pull up the entire thing and get down to the Fuse to milk it off and those are the nice pretty devices. So have fun watching me scrap stuff and hope we can put body in the bone to the shoulder bone. We went through the back, troubleshooting the wires and stuff like that. I forgot exactly what is the issue with it while it was not heating. And lo and behold, this still do the heating in here. I have a right new breaker, so now we will call it do the heating. Um, it's not given continuity, so basically we need to go and get the replacement for this. Alright? So, we're gonna reassemble, how to go by the fast place, bring it back, and then we we'll go from there. So, we completed this repair. I had a serious, serious, serious jump on the show. When I mean jump, the voodoo was strong. Yeah, strong. You know what I mean? You see all these parts here? All that changed. I changed everything. I changed the heat and element everything. Because I wasn't going to do it. Here's where the jump is. The jump is when I changed all the parts. I did all the tests. The dryer was coming home. It was coming up. It was tumbling, just no heat. So I know as teach my students, check the electrical. The voltage on the electrical, line to line and line to phase rate, perfect. I mean, perfect. Until I encountered this part of it. So what did it happen? I was getting a correct voltage, but the average was not really at all. So I ended up changing the breaker and everything went perfect. Now, as a appliance technician, the panel box is an electrician's job because I explained to the clients um, the parameters of me to that done as an appliance technician. But as an electrician, because I have an electrician background, it was okay and well and fine. And it's not for appliance personnel to be eventually able to, unless you take off that hat. That says appliance tech, and you put on electrician's tech, let the client move with your personal safety as well as things. Alright, if you're not comfortable, tell them to let them be like a shunt and have the breaker change and we'll do with it from home. So, this was a major, major, major um, catch for me because honestly, it took me a while to figure out this was the problem. Again, the voltage rate ideal. So, it's just one of those things where you live, you're troubleshoot, you go to frustration, troubleshoot again, and you live. Peace!